So I'm very excited this morning to be welcoming to our Brit Week poolside chats, the new British Consul General for Los Angeles, Emily Cloak. Emily, welcome. Thank you so much. Hi, Nigel. Hi, nice to see you here, uh, albeit via Zoom. I think by now we would have had about five or six different occasions to clink teacups or whatever, or Pim's glasses. It's been a challenge. I'm, I'm holding my water glass here that we can yeah, yeah. clink. <laughs> <laughs> so just, you know, because it's been quite a unique year uh, and you transitioned in when? Uh, around the summer, was it this year? So I arrived towards the end of September with my husband and my toddler daughter to Los Angeles. So it's been coming up to three months now and, you know, it's a fantastic place to be. Um, you know, I feel very privileged to be doing this role. Uh, I'm based in Los Angeles uh, and I cover the wider US Southwest. So that's uh, Southern California, Arizona, Nevada, Utah and Hawaii. So what a fantastic part of the world. Um, yeah. Delighted to be here. Not too shabby, as they say. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. And I, I guess, you know, who would have known that this year would have seen what we're seeing? Uh, that transition, I mean, how, how did you sort of approach it? Because you obviously by then knew you were coming here. Um, the former Consul General was exiting out. He had challenges of where he was going to go and how that was going to... How, what, was it, what was the whole sort of milieu like? Was it quite, quite difficult to navigate? So, um, as you say, you know, in, in a global pandemic that's been hard uh, for so many of us, um, there's a personal cost, economic cost, it's, it's not an easy time uh, to move country, absolutely. And um, coming out in, in September, you know, I was fortunate enough to have support from a fantastic team um, at the concert. You know, it's a great, a great group of people who I've been really delighted to work with who gave me that support. So whether it was from baby proofing the residents, which is, you know, not an easy and not an easy thing to do again. No, in that's a pandemic. Staircase. Yeah, that's Absolutely. right. <laughs> um, so from that through to, you know, introducing me virtually to the community, um, helping me get up to speed on the issues. Um, that, that support was really, really vital. And, you know, it, it's, it's not easy uh, doing things virtually, but we're also trying to make a virtue of it. And, you know, it's amazing in, in some ways that we can work in this way. I certainly wouldn't, wouldn't have imagined uh, this time last year doing everything through uh, a laptop. Um, so that's had a, a bit of the silver lining. But, you know, as you say, it's not an easy time of the year to, to move country or indeed, you know, to um, be coping with some of the challenges that we're, we're all facing with the pandemic. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about your background. Is sure. So um, I have come to LA uh, from London. I'm a, I'm a Londoner and I started my career off as a lawyer and I have worked briefly in, in documentary film before working for the government. And I've had some brilliant roles working for the government. Um, I've been overseas twice before to, to Sweden and to Iran. And I've mainly spent uh, my time working in the trade business, international and diplomatic sphere. So really uh, it's for me been all about personal connections building links between uh, the UK and different countries and it's just been such a fantastic role so I, as I said a lot of it is about connection people relationships which which I love and so when you sort of got here what was your sort of primary role or what has your primary role been during this unique time so um, the role of a Consul General is to represent um, the UK in this part of the world. And it's all about how I and my team um, can strengthen the relationship between the UK and in this case, the US Southwest. And we've got a really varied relationship. It's already, you know, a fantastic relationship. Um, but, but our work here, you know, varies from helping British nationals um, living here we've got a really large uh, resident community um, and also nationals visiting through to how we can really champion our businesses to export or invest here and we've got some brilliant examples you know one, one example is the the rooftop cinema being out here in LA and, and doing some great things we also work to build investment into the UK looking to build uh, partnerships between our scientists universities researchers championing you know culture it's really multifaceted and we've got some brilliant uh, people at the consulate helping to do that so a lot of my um, 
My work since I arrived has been getting to know the people, getting to know the issues, meeting our contacts, um, and, you know, uh, championing, uh, working on those objectives uh, that I set out. So working with our companies, uh, working with our nationals and so on. So it's been, a, it's been a busy couple of months. And as I mentioned, you know, really trying to make a virtue of doing things virtually. So um, we've done, you know, as opposed to the typical uh, events uh, that we might do at the residence, hosting virtual um, uh, British teas, uh, whiskey tastings with um, our business community. So really looking at how we can do things creatively. Because um, it's, you know, it's tough doing everything uh, on a screen, as I'm sure you probably uh, feel as well. Well, we had that at the beginning of the year when we decided to put Brit Week online. And I think we were sort of one of the first online events that happened this year because we Brit Week typically starts in in April so it was right at the beginning of lockdown and so we would have had events all over the place and you know obviously we had to mothball it so it was it was interesting and and fun to try online I think people are getting a little bit of uh, you know zoom fatigue and stuff now but um the question is how do we how do we keep it ignited how do we keep it going what's been you know your biggest challenge during this period would you say i think you know the, the challenge um you've just touched on nigel so how um do you continue to build those links and connections in a virtual way that's certainly something that i think we're all grappling with how do you work differently and effectively and i think you know it, it's possible but it's not the same as doing things in person um, and, and building relationships but i think you know it, it's been a, a really challenging time for many of us in terms of the impact of the pandemic you know that's had a, a human cost it's had an economic cost while I think there are really positive signs um, with with the vaccines and I think 2021 brings hope on that um, on that front we're still not through the pandemic by any means mm -hmm. and so there is a challenge uh, on how we all uh, support our um, community and our businesses uh, through that where it's needed and how I think you know for, for us in 2021 a big focus of our work will be how do we recover better and more sustainably um, and I think you know there's lots to do on that side but it certainly is you know it's a challenging time for us all yeah yeah Let's put the challenges to one side and talk a little bit about LA. How much of it have you managed to see? Have you managed to get out and, and do, you know, sort of a little bit of sightseeing? With the lockdown at the moment, um, I am staying at home, but I am a big fan of the state beaches going up the Malibu coast. That is absolutely beautiful. And my husband and I took my daughter to see uh, the ocean for the first time. She's just turned 18 months and oh, she wow. was just, oh, her face was such a picture. It was lovely. Um, I am a big fan of the parks. I love nature generally. And we hiked up to the Griffith Observatory, which was wonderful. I have to say, I don't get tired of seeing the Hollywood sign as well. That's a bit of an iconic landmark uh, to see. So I'm really excited for, for what 2021 will bring and being able to travel and venture around this beautiful country, whether that's seeing the desert in Arizona, um, you know, more of LA, the, the arts, uh, downtown LA, I've heard you know, great things about, I'd love to see uh, more of um, going out, say the salt uh, plains in Utah. I just think there is so much to see and uh, I'm excited. I like uh, all of you, I'm seeing a lot virtually. So I did, um, do a virtual visit recently to San Diego and to Orange County, so meeting uh, businesses, the community. I'm looking forward to the time when I can see those places in person. But it did give me a snapshot and I have looked at lots of photos and, you know, I'm really excited uh, of what's to come in 2021. It's funny, isn't it, when you finally get to meet the people that you spend so much time with on Zoom, there's <laughs> going to be that very odd that you know them so well and yet you don't know them. You know? <laughs> it's very odd. <laughs> The other, the other thing I was going to ask you, um, you know, every, everyone has a certain sort of vision of what they uh, want to focus on or, or what their particular flavour is, whether it's trade, whether it's the arts, whether, what would you say your particular vision is or, or where your focus might be? Absolutely. So for 2021, 
I'm very focused on how do we recover better and more sustainably. I think there's real opportunities to do uh, things um, that in some cases only government could do given our um, you know, ability to, to look at where we can you know, hold the economic levers to do that, for example. Um, so for me, we've got some really big things coming up in 2021 for the UK. So we're co-hosting COP26, which is the World's Climate Change Conference meeting in Glasgow. So we in the consulate will be doing a lot um, to focus on how do we uh, tackle climate change, working with partners, whether that's, you know, LA City or other um, state and local actors. And I think that's something where, you know, we all have a role to play, whether that's businesses, whether that's us, you know, from a personal perspective and what we're all, all able to do. So that will be a big focus of, of our work. Um, I mentioned my trade and economic background. So I love working with businesses to see um, where we can help make a difference. I mentioned, you know, the work of the consulate, for example, in uh, the likes of the rooftop cinema. And, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to, to catching a film there. They've uh, repivoted their business model with the pandemic uh, away from the rooftop in some cases and, you know, opening up um, Santa Monica airport to, to watch some films. So, Good you know, fun. some really yes. exciting yes. things there. Yeah. Another example of where uh, the consulate has been working has been around uh, bringing the bike shed motorcycle company uh, to downtown LA and they'll be launching uh, in 2021, we hope. So some really exciting things there. But the other area that um, I'm very keen to do is looking how we continue to build those people to people links between the UK and the US, you know, there is so much that we can work on together and the UK I think is really at the forefront of a lot on creativity, you know, innovation, diversity. We can really um, do a lot um, uh, to lead in a lot of those areas. Um, and we've got a unique relationship in terms of culture, I think, as well. So I think for me, telling that story, highlighting the brilliant work that's happening across the community, back what's happening in the UK and looking where we can build on that together. That's something that I'm very keen to do, help tell that story and really bring the relationship even closer together. So, you know, whether it's working with Brit Week or whether it's working with the wider British community, because we've got a really strong community here mm. and, you know, Brits are really leading the way. I want to hear, you know, your ideas on how we can do that more effectively and for you all to help tell that story, um, you know, in many cases more effectively than, than we can. So that's um, another area that I'm keen to focus for next year. Yeah, it's very exciting. And I think, you know, when you look at the relationship between our two film industries, and just how Hollywood has kind of moved much of its muscle to the UK and what's happening with, with the UK film industry and Hollywood, it's remarkable. So j just one other question, Emily. I wondered if there's any message that you'd like to give to all the Brits out there that will be uh, clicking into the Christmas programme on Brit Week. Absolutely. Thank you, Nigel. So for me, um, my message is that I know it's been a really uh, hard year with the pandemic and I hope that 2021 um, brings us hope. And uh, I personally, um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to 2021, I think, with the start of the vaccination uh, program there is that hope and I'm really looking forward to working with the British community and getting to know you and supporting you which is a key part of my role. Fantastic well we look forward to seeing you thank you Emily. Thank you.